All right, guys, what's up? Just uh, kind of stuck in the house today. It's snowing for the first freaking time since Christmas, and it's almost the end of January now, here in Salt Lake at least. Uh, we got uh, like dumped on overnight. I think it was eight inches, roughly, at least at our house. And so I'm sure up in the mountains, all the antlers are covered. So we decided to stay inside. Figured it'd be a good time to show you guys uh, some shed dog training that you can do inside. It's also kind of a... Uh, like that last, maybe like that last step before you would uh, see if your dog's ready to go outside with training into a less controlled environment. Or just if it's bad weather, you could practice inside. Um, in the last video I posted, I think it was my two videos ago, three videos ago, it shows like the beginning stages, getting your dog used to liking the antler, chewing on them, uh, developing a, a smell that he can uh, remember uh, when he goes out hiking in the mountains. Also, we played fetch and got him used to wanting to grab the antler and bring it back to me. So now this is going to be kind of uh, like that intermediate level step, if you want to call that. Call it that. Maybe not even quite that high of a level. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to hide the antlers or the antler throughout the, the house. I'll tell him to hunt and he's just going to go hunt it up, smell it and uh, I'll kind of just walk you through as it goes and just kind of make a quick video showing you guys what you can do with your dog and kind of the level he is at right now. He's a little bit past this, but uh, it's all right to take a step back to show you uh, and then the next video we'll move outside. He's still on treat training, so I always keep a pocket of treats. I have a little baggie too, but uh, I think it's upstairs. But I do treats, I don't really uh, like on basic commands and whatnot, like his sits, stays, going between, all that. I don't really, I'm trying to weed him off of treat training. But, but uh, like for antlers and stuff, I'm giving him treats still just to, uh, until he really, I feel like he's getting the hang of it. So it looks like he's starting to wake up. <laughs> Let's uh, see if he'll find it. Kinda gonna be hard with all those freaking antlers laying around. Uh, tons of elk. Seems to like the moose the most, I think because he can eat these ends off of them a little bit better. Uh, you can see he's already screwing up my collection, eating them all. <laughs> Good boy, we're going to find this one though, alright? Let's do this. Alright, so this is the first thing we're going to do. I just have him come around, get into his position, stay. Give him his one command to stay. We're just going to go hide this. You know, it's good practice to, uh, also, just for his sitting, staying, his obedience. Maybe the first time, make it easy. Just put it right there, out of sight, where he's going to have to go around some corners. And he knows he's looking for that antler, obviously. Still in position. He's ready to go. Let's go. Hunt. There he goes. He's smelling for him. I'm not going to really lead him anywhere, I just kind of uh, want him to figure it out on his own. So here he goes, he's smelling, and he's seen it. Good boy, Tracker. Come on, get him. Come on, get him. Good boy. Good doggy, yeah. And I'll have him, my pocket full of treats, hand it to him. Um, you can guide your dog in a little bit. At the beginning, he's done this before though, so I didn't want him to. Uh, and I'll kind of play tug of war with him, get him uh, interested in the antler. I do got to start training him to bark when he finds them because he's kind of a smaller dog, and you find one of these big antlers, it's going to be hard to uh, <laughs> for him to carry it over. So I just I got to train him to uh, start barking when he finds one. All right, here we go again, tracker, tracker. Heel. Good boy. Get in position. Stay. You guys are seeing my whole basement. <laughs> Nothing much to it. Kind of cluttered with animals and whatnot. But in my room, I don't have any sheets on my bed because I'm doing laundry right now. Where should we put it now? This time, I'll put it in the bathroom. Lots of smells in there. And put it a little bit under there so it's a little harder to find. Come back. 
Tractor still being a good boy. Ready? Ready to get him? Hunt. Hunt. I use the command hunt. <laughs> you can use uh, any other command really. But good boy, hunt. He found it right away. Good boy, get him, track, get him. That one's kind of a fun one because he has to pull it out. Bring him here. Bring me the horn. Bring me the horn. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy, tracker. Good boy. And uh, I'm just giving him the treats because uh, that's kind of like a beginning stage. But um, actually, right now, I'm avoiding the treats a little bit. Uh, just on basic stuff like this. Outside, I give him the treats. But basic stuff, I do not give him the treats because... Um, obviously we just want him to do it because uh, that's what he should want to do not just for treats uh, but he loves those antlers so he's been chewing on them pretty good today round sit down good boy wait so here we go again same antler you could use different antlers but um, I'm gonna go behind the bar with this one Again, he can't see me. That's the important part, so he doesn't know exactly where I put it. All right, just started the third one. Uh, put it behind the bar, you saw. First thing he did was come in here, just because that's where the other two have been. But the good, what I like is he's using his nose. He's smelling for that one particular scent. It's not under there. Hunt. If they're having a little trouble, you can, you know, walk a little bit with them. There he goes, picks it up. Found the antler. Come on, tracker, bring me the horn. Bring me the horn. Good boy, come on. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. You ready? Get him up, Jack. Get him up. Good boy. Come on. Yeah. You want a treat, don't you? It's about, it's about dinner time for him. That's also a good thing, too, is uh, when you're training them, and you're doing treat training I just do portions of his meals so he's not really getting extra treats uh, do it when they're hungry and uh, they're gonna be a lot more willing to work so yeah that's about it just uh, kind of an intermediate mid-level training session inside that you can do with your shed dog again just keep it fun like I don't even I really don't even care if he turns into a shed dog and I feel like that's just the mentality you have to have is be fun, be, have fun with it, uh, be encouraging, and be very calm and patient, especially if you don't have a retriever. Like uh, Labradors, that's bred into him to want to do this kind of stuff. Uh, and he's a working dog, so he wants to work and learn. But uh, just be, make it fun. Like, don't expect anything. I could care less if he turns into a shed dog, really. I'm not a trainer by any means. This is just kind of a bonding thing we you know I like to do with him and hopefully it does end up turning him into a shed dog and we could you know have some good times but uh yep just every night I do this you know three or four times hide the antler and uh look for it and you know it builds his uh smelling skills because there's a lot of you know scents in the house uh that he has to differentiate between and uh pick out that one antler smell and uh use his nose a little bit and it's just something you know good to go to bed on end on a good note for the day uh, so give it a try give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned I'll, I'll do a few more training dog training uh, videos we'll move outside do some uh, shed hunting outside and then obviously now that shed season is here for moose and deer we'll let the snow die down a bit and uh, get after it thanks for watching